At a recent prayer service, a man shared that his wife had died about four years ago. He also shared that she had been the one that had taken care of most things for the household. One day, as he was struggling with her loss, he asked his son why God would take the strong one and leave the weak one. His son admitted that he didn't know the answer, but promised to pray with his father for the answer. A couple of weeks later, the son came back to this man and said, Dad, you relied on mom all those years, and the Lord is giving you a chance now to learn to rely on him. Which got me to thinking, what do I rely on? When I have a question or need direction or comfort or help, when I'm tempted or troubled or hurt, to whom do I turn? Where do you turn? Genesis 6.64 says, Therefore it is given to abide in you the record of heaven, the comforter, the peaceable things of immortal glory, the truth of all things, that which quickeneth all things, which maketh alive all things, that which knoweth all things and hath all power according to wisdom, mercy, truth, justice, and judgment. We have access to tremendous power, tremendous wisdom and comfort. The Holy Spirit is available, able, and willing. And the Lord says to us, it is time to learn to rely solely on me. But to do that, we have to give up something we've been holding on to, our control. Because it's not about asking for the Holy Spirit's help, it's about asking him to take over. And when we do let him take over, Jesus promises, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you.